Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and welcome back to Late Night News. We're going to get into our top headlines of the day, including Microsoft and the United States government uh, doing some shenanigans with some Russian sites. But first, our top headlines of the day. All of our headlines can be found in our shorts feed. Go check them out. Our shorts feed on YouTube. Go check them out. Elon Musk to join Trump at a at site of the assassination attempt after Cheney campaigns with Harris Live, the tech mogul, to join Donald Trump on his return to Butler, Pennsylvania after Kamala Harris is headed to the birthplace of the GOP in Wisconsin to campaign with anti-Trump conservative Liz Cheney. Tina Peters, the ex-county clerk, jailed for tempering with voting machines in the 2020 election. Tennessee Plastics Factory, the target of investigation after reports Helene floodwaters trapped workers inside led to deaths, and Impact Plastics said no employees face termination if they left due to floods. And on to our main story of the day, the U.S. and Microsoft seized more than 100 websites alleged to have been part of Russian espionage campaign. The FBI said that the websites were part of a spear phishing campaign. The names were allegedly to alleged to be staging grounds for the Russia FSB intelligence agency and its ongoing efforts to spy on targets of interest, ranging from the U.S. Department Energy Department to Russian nonprofit groups and media outlets critical of the Kremlin. The FBI said in affidavit that the websites used were part of a spear phishing campaign, a term for targeted efforts to trick people into divulging sensitive information, usually email, login credentials. The information was sought with the goal of gaining unauthorized victims access to the computers and email accounts of victims, then to steal valuable information and sensitive US, the United States government intelligence. They seized 41 of the web domains, according to the FBI affidavit, and also granted Microsoft control of 66 additional domains the company said were part of the same operation. So let's be so for real. And this is, I'm going to lean on a little bit of uh, my, my, you know, ex expertise here. I'm not a security expert in the, in the tech field by any means, but I am in, but I am, you know, certainly more educated on the fact in a layman just by, you know, virtue of my field in, in tech. One of the biggest security risks, in fact, the biggest security risk is human error. I think it's something like 90% of, uh, um, you know, hacking and, you know, breaches are a result of human error. You know, there's a reason why very, you know, human drilling, like drilling people to like follow protocol and stuff is very important when it comes to dealing with sensitive information. You know, there's, you know, even me when I was stupid, sorry, even while I was working at, you know, my last job in, 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 in the banking sector, you know, there, you know, we were like, we had to make our programs in such a way where we weren't, where we would take in the information, but we would never see it. We had to make up dud information modeled how the data we would get was modeled just so we were able to like, be able to properly do it. It was not particularly easy in that regard but you know it's important you know people you know when you're dealing with people's sensitive information like their social security number bank accounts address everything you know you 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 as a person need to be on your p's and q's and most people aren't you know government employees are better at it than they used to be but even then it's not fantastic so you know Spear phishing campaigns usually rely more on human error to get that to get their logging credentials more than anything. So, you know, more power to uh, you know, the you know <laughs> the Wagner group was known for like to to make the internet research agency, you know, while Russia may be a, f a failed state in a lot of respects, they influence countries all over the globe in their electoral and power processes, you know, so to make them you know, like Russia is one of the biggest sources of international, like right wing ideology and, you know, the destabilization of Western democracies. So, you know, efforts like this obviously aren't going to stop anytime soon. And they are, you know, significantly important. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. 
all of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.